Fam.news. This is the most important piece about the mattress industry I've ever written, and I wanted to turn it into a podcast so you could listen along. Sleep Summit in the future, how the mattress industry can alter the trajectory of human health. The Fam Podcast starts right now. Hey, are you a mattress retailer looking to supercharge your business? Introducing Podium, your secret weapon. I use it, I'm a huge fan of it. And with Podium's AI powered lead conversion, you can engage with customers in seconds via text, making it feel like they're talking to a friend. But hey, that's just the beginning. Podium offers texting, payments, reviews, website chat, and more all in one place. You've got to be the most responsive retailer to help customers solve those sleep problems in the moment. Harness the power of Podium today and start growing your business. Visit Podium.com right now to learn more. Welcome to the FAM Podcast with Mark Kinsley. This is where the best in the betting business get even better. Hey fam, welcome to the podcast. It's a very special day because as I was thinking about Sleep Summit, which is happening October 8th through the 11th, 2024, I was putting it into context in relation to a conference. A summit is where interested parties come together, where people who want to make a change gather to unlock solutions. And as I thought about it, as I thought about the impact the mattress industry can have on the world, I had to put it into words, and I wanted to share those words with you today. So normally I don't do this, but it's a reading. Here, get ready for a reading. So thank you so much for uh, listening to this. Please share it with your teams, your colleagues. And one of the things I asked on LinkedIn where this originally published was, please comment, please share, please give me your feedback because there's a vision in here, and I'm asking us as an industry to round it out. So the title is Sleep Summit and the Future how the mattress industry can alter the trajectory of human health. If you believe the mattress industry can make a global impact on sleep health, then keep listening. If not, feel free to sling those white rectangles and best of luck to you. There are plenty of mattress millionaires out there who care more about making a buck than making an impact. When I first entered this mattress industry, I hadn't thought about the fact that people will spend more time on the products we make than any other single object in their lifetime. I didn't consider that a person's bedroom is the safest place on the planet, or that lack of sleep leads to dementia and a host of other maladies. I know we are not just selling mattresses, but instead have the power to improve people's health, elevate their moods, increase productivity, and ultimately enhance their quality of life. It's a big responsibility, but also a wonderful opportunity to make a real difference. The question then becomes, how do we maximize our ability to make a difference? One thing is clear, it starts with what each individual in the mattress industry is willing to accept, reject, or envision. How many times have you been to the same market, a repeat conference, or laid on the same product? Doing what's always been done and expecting different results, that's the definition of insanity. What happens if we refuse to keep doing what's always been done? It's time to break away from the normal, predictable rhythm of the sleepy mattress industry and actively create the future. Otherwise, we're leaving it to consolidated companies, private equity, observers, and analysts. Now, to be clear, many of us are too lenient with what we're willing to accept in this industry. Somewhere along the line, we blindly accepted that chemical-filled mattresses are the way to go and lower costs outweigh recyclability. Beyond that, we've accepted the commoditization of the category at the hands of Amazon and often by ourselves as we blast the airwaves with 199 queen sets this weekend only. Meanwhile, RSA training falls on the shoulders of 1099 reps who beg manufacturers for a product sheet or a trifold brochure. This is our fault. Some people have accepted all of this and simply move on. Others have shown bravery by rejecting the status quo, but far too many have remained dangerously, silently indifferent. In the grand scheme of things, we can choose to accept, reject, or remain indifferent, but even rejection, which is a noble path, is no longer good enough because rejection is nothing more than reacting to the dominant forces. It requires no vision. This is why vision holds immense power. A clear vision of the future surpasses mere rejection. 
We have the power to plan and prepare a better future for this industry, to challenge the status quo, and to innovate outside the confines of traditional practices. It's time to move beyond rejection to embrace a bold vision and actively engage in creating a future where the mattress industry makes a global impact on sleep and wellness. Now, I need editors here. It's easier to edit than create. It's easier to edit than create. I really love that quote because it speaks to the tenacity it takes to conquer the tyranny of the blank page. And what you're about to hear is all I've done. I've scribbled what's inside my heart and my head on a few pages in hopes that these thoughts will attract a few brave editors. And I hope that's you. If you're willing to move beyond rejection and beyond indifference, let's round out this vision together. Make it bigger. Make it so bold that it feels a little bit scary. Push your mental limits and remember, the unknown is where possibility lives. And if we're going to discover what's truly possible, we must venture into that unknown. Here's a draft of the FAM's vision. By 2034, the mattress industry will revolutionize global sleep, health, and wellness, making a profound impact on billions of lives. We will lead an era where sustainable, high-quality sleep solutions become the norm, not the exception, reaching every corner of the world. Our industry will innovate with advanced materials and technology, setting new standards for comfort, health, and environmental responsibility. An engaged network of over 100,000 dedicated professionals will drive a 50% improvement in global sleep quality significantly reducing sleep-related health issues and enhancing the well-being of the world. As the most trusted authority in sleep, our industry will be synonymous with integrity, quality, and the pursuit of better sleep for all. Through our unwavering commitment, we will transform sleep health into a cornerstone of public health, making restful nights and energized days a universal reality. Now, if you're willing to make that vision bigger and better, send me a message, message marketthefam.com, or hop on LinkedIn and send me a note. I can't wait to hear from you. In the meantime, let's choose to move beyond rejection and indifference and start taking these small steps toward a bright future. And it really starts to me by changing the way we gather. Now, I've mentioned this before, but I received an unsolicited email to put things in context for me and really spurred some action. I recently received this email that struck this chord. I believe it really captures the essence of what sets the FAM events apart from traditional conferences. And the subject line was the FAM versus another conference. Hey, Mark, this year I attended this other conference. I met many of the attendees and FAM members there. And all I can say is it seemed like night and day to a FAM event. I felt the conference was a structured tech checklist of repetitive content that has happened for years, mostly data, but nothing to do with it or follow up. I felt it did not have heart like the FAM events do. And this is really comes down to what I call the consumption trap of traditional conferences. So after reading that email, I realized that traditional conferences in the mattress retail industry often fall into the trap of passive consumption. Attendees sit through keynotes, speeches, presentations, panels, peppered with information, not a whole lot of opportunity for interaction or practical application. And then I thought, where are the people who are passionate about creating the future? You know, I want our interactions to be more like the G8 Summit, the organizations where heads of the world's leading countries gather to find solutions to pressing issues and an increase cooperation, compiling recommendations and policies and plans they can work on collabor collaboratively to, to implement. Yes, that's what I mean. Work collaboratively. Implement. Take action. That's less conference. That's more summit. And that's where summits unlock solutions. Unlike conferences, summits are designed to be interactive, engaging, solutions-oriented. They bring together thought leaders, industry innovators, and passionate professionals who are not there to consume information, but to actively shape the future. The sessions are crafted to provide Actionable insights stimulate innovative thinking and foster collaborative problem solving. Problem solving. And that's the model for the FAM Sleep Summit event. It's a vehicle for realizing our vision. And the heart of Summit is community and collaboration. 
as you heard in that unsolicited email, one thing that sets the FAM Sleep Summit apart is heart. It's our focus on community and collaboration. And this event is about more than just business. It's about building this thriving community of professionals who care deeply about the future of mattress retail in the sleep industry and choose to influence it. At Sleep Summit, you're not just going to be a passive attendee. You're an active participant in shaping the industry's future. This sense of community and shared purpose is what gives Sleep Summit its heart. And in my opinion, makes it a must attend event. So here's a glimpse at what's ahead. And remember, this is about changing the way we gather. Last year's Sleep Summit brought together more than 115 amazing people for more than two full days of sparks and energy. The air was filled with teaching and training and sleep education and new ideas and networking and laughter and fresh perspectives. And the stage speaker, uh, featured speakers like Mattress Firm co-founder Harry Roberts and Dr. Kimberly Limpy, the founder of Drift, and Megan Anderson from Mattress Firm, and Stephen Ferguson with Bedhead Marketing, and the founder of Esquire Advertising, Eric Grinley, and Bob Munkle, who's an amazing sales expert, and many more. And this year promises to take it to the next level with a lineup of speakers ready to share their expertise and help you achieve your goals as well. Plus, we're lit up about our electrifying theme. The theme for Sleep Summit 2024 is Back to the Future of Sleep. Rewind to what works and reimagine the future. It's all about revisiting proven practices while innovating for tomorrow. You know, there are forgotten fundamentals that have consistently delivered success in the mattress business. And by returning to these core principles, we're resurfacing winning strategies and ideas that may have been neglected over time. Now, simultaneously, we're going to be traveling to the future where the mattress industry has become this vehicle for global change and sleep health. All right, I can already feel the 1.21 gigawatts of electric energy pulsing through Bentonville. And I can't wait to see you October 8th through the 11th, 2024. Now, in the movie Back to the Future, when Marty McFly returns to the present, he learns several key lessons that resonate with our vision for the mattress industry. Number one, the importance of relationships. Marty sees how his actions positively transform his family's future. Similarly, the relationships we build today will shape our industry's success tomorrow. And remember, there's a big difference between interactions and real relationships. And at Sleep Summit, you're going to forge connections that can transform your business and the lives of those you serve. Personal courage. Marty learns the power of taking initiative and being courageous. The same courage is needed in our industry to push the boundaries and embrace new ideas. By attending Summit, you're going to take that first bold step toward being the change. Consequences of actions. Marty realizes in the movie Back to the Future how small changes can have profound effects. Our decisions today will have a lasting impact. And Sleep Summit is where you can start making those mindful decisions together. And finally, innovation and friendship. Isn't that what the movie is really all about? That friendship with Doc Brown? Marty's journey highlights the importance of innovation and supportive friendship. At Sleep Summit, you're going to join a community of innovators and friends who will support and inspire you to overcome challenges and create a better future. Marty returns to a positively transformed present due to his actions, reinforcing resilience and the impact of choices. We too can transform our industry through our actions today and wake up at a future that we created. Now, here's your next step. Right now, you can unlock savings of 150 bucks on a VIP ticket. There are only 75 available, and many of those are already gone. You can get 100 bucks off a general admission ticket with early rear pricing that goes through July 31st. Oh, by the way, VIP gets a bunch of perks, like a private fam house that we have secured, premium snacks, all the beverages, VIP only dinner, et cetera, et cetera. So head over to sleepsummit.thefam.com. You can register there. So let's be the change. Let's be the change. I invite you to join the fam at Sleep Summit and be the change. Build strong relationships, embrace innovation, foster friendships, and summon the courage to shape a brighter future. Together, we can redefine the mattress industry and make a global impact on sleep and wellness. Let's stop being passive participants in our industry's future. This is a call to action for all mattress professionals who are ready to embrace a bold vision, challenge the status quo, and work collaboratively toward a brighter future. 
And by joining the fam and participating in events like Sleep Summit, we can collectively elevate the mattress industry, making significant strides in sleep, health, and wellness worldwide. Let's commit to sustainable practices, innovative solutions, and a community-driven approach that prioritizes the well-being of our customers. Together, we can transform our industry from within. Let's harness our collective power, creativity, and passion to make a lasting impact. Let's be the change. Thank you so much for letting me share what was in my head, in my heart, that I put on paper. I encourage you to head over to LinkedIn or drop me a note by email, marketthefam.com, and let me know your thoughts. I really want to hear from people that want to round out that big, bold vision. I want to see you at Sleep Summit because I do think the way we gather matters. And when you gather with purpose and you gather with intention, instead of gathering for the sake of gathering, it fundamentally unlocks a different path forward. And that's why it's a summit. All right, fam. I wish you all the best this happy holiday selling season as you head into July 4th. I hope your numbers absolutely rock and you're able to serve consumers and put them on a path to better sleep. Have a great day. Be sure to share this podcast with somebody you know, somebody you love, somebody that believes in purpose and mission behind what we do. And I will see you back here next Monday.